Here's a Florida native palm. And it's uh, a casual name on it is uh, Perotis palm or Everglades palm. And it's uh, Acela raphi raphii is the Latin on it. And uh, they're pretty much in their element right here on the margin of this water, this freshwater pond here that's uh, well fed. And uh, they do get quite tall, probably about 25, 30 feet, and they spread. Um, and I've seen people plant these in too dry a location and they do not prosper in that situation. They like a little bit of water. They're used to being at least periodically inundated with water, uh, which is why they're called the Everglades Palm because that's kind of where they, they live, or where they're endemic to, or endemic. Uh, there's some fruit left over. We're past the, the seed season. They put out a really striking orange uh, presentation of fruit on them. They're really nice in that regard. Uh, so, one of the Florida natives, I think there's a dozen or so taxa native to Florida, and of course this is one of them. And I like them. I wouldn't want one in my yard. My neighbor's got one right on the boundary of my property, so that's enough for me, because they do take up a lot of space, and I don't have that much, so. But if you got enough space and you got a wet piece of ground, this is a good place, good plant, rather, to put in. Once again, a Sealy Rafe, Rafe Rightii, and, uh, it is the Perotus palm or Everglades palm.